I feel like this is where most of the storylines are just going to be aligning now. <sighs> Fuck this whole night. I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. Fuck. I just want one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. <sighs> you don't know what to do. So I feel sorry for him because he's had to do most of the night by himself. Okay, Emma, just stay cool. Everything's gonna be okay. Well, I forgot just, she was she was there now. Breathe. What the shit? No, 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 no. I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, come on. Smash our legs, baby. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh, my God. It's right behind me. Oh, my God. It's right behind me. Oh, my God. It's just jumped out of the way. Thank God for that. Oh, my God. Run. No, no, run. Let's keep going. We need to... It's our office bit. Caitlin, this way. Hope I've chosen the right choice. I really, really do. Silver. Hey, hey, I'm here.
I think I missed. I think I missed. Oh. I missed. Oh my god, I missed. I don't know why. I thought I had more time. I messed up. I messed up. Damn it! So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas, the wolf boy, escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Oh, oh shit. There you go. He's got to be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? What? Um. What are we doing? <laughs> oh no, it's still alive. It's fun. Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but. Yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell is she wearing? What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Yes, yeah, it's a turn. Let's go. Let's, Let's do fucking it. do this. 
Go team. Oh, it's, it's made me so sad about Caitlyn's dead. So it's the two girls what are dead so far, properly, like. Obviously the Hackett's are dead. But I feel like some of them were unavoidable. I feel like some of the deaths are unavoidable. What's, but yeah, I mean, obviously, we've got to be Damn, some deaths. this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the rum tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Silas's mother. I think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Don't do that. Oh. Oh. Shit. I'm sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see it too? Kinda wish I hadn't. Same. I can't believe I missed. <laughs> I can't believe I missed the werewolf with the bloody silver shell. I feel like I should have like gone closer, I don't know. What is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Oh 
shit. Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh my God. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot the stupid girl! Stop. Are you sure about this? Shoot. Unfortunately, I feel like it's just had to be done. I mean, not only that, it's sort of like putting him out of his misery as well. It's like, I don't know. Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. So I wonder what would have happened if you didn't shoot him? He just killed you, wouldn't he? Oh, she's not gonna be happy. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Okay, creepy, creepy woman. The thing, the thing is, it was like for the greater good, it had to happen. Oh, I could hide neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm would never ring. But it rings, and I rise, wipe the sleep out of my eyes. My shaven razor's cold, and it stings. Cheer up, sleepy Gino, what can it mean to a me as a white knight on his steed now you know how happy i can be oh and our good time starts and then without our love one to spend but how much baby do we really need cheer up sleep Dream believer and a homecoming 
it's just a little rundown of everyone who's alive and dead. So, pretty much, if we did shoot a werewolf, Caitlin would have survived and Caleb would have died. So, either way, one of them was going to die. Obviously, I'd have preferred Caitlin, but... I suppose they had to to cut to break the curse. I think he was. I think the old woman was trying to persuade you to sort of let the curse be, and let us on be a werewolf kind of thing. It's kind of strange, but I don't mind this ending. It's it's nice. It's like a until dawn sort of thing, that final showdown. Summer camp tragedy. Freak bear attack leaves several dead. What do you make of that, Anton? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just, they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what, it's several, several murders. You know, it might be a tactic, though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh god, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that N says, Stop doing a podcast! No one's listening! You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine, let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. God, sorry, the tape is just really... Really? There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Apparently they found another body. 
Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're going to do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine. Yes, you. it's, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah. Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, I, of course, I can't verify this info, of but... Of course you can't. What, do I have, like, a history of not verifying yes, my info? Yes, it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay, I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing, he's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe, still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. I don't know, this is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're going to present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So? Maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there, too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them, too? Oh, please. Okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera, and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. Or it's water damage, I can't tell. Yeah, okay, that's not nothing, I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm, yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm hmm And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Really? <laughs> Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide.
the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can Right, but read I, I this. feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended. For now. Well, I'll bear that in mind for later. But, that's where the trail goes a little cold. What about the family? Can they verify it? No. In fact, they've completely gone to ground. Nobody's heard from them since. Who can blame them? Innocent people don't hide, Anton. Hmm. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're gonna say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't- I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. What do you think of this? Oh, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So, what we've got here, this could incriminate the Hackett family, or what's left of them, at least. Wait, you believe it? I, I don't know. At the very least, we should tell someone. The police should know, right? <sighs> Do you believe it? All of it. No, I'm not the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about killing those hikers. We've got a body, evidence they were there. This is real stuff, Grace. It's stacking up against the Hackett's. We might, yeah. we might actually we got, know something. We got a whole flapjack stack of evidence. Yes. So what do we do? Shut off the podcast and report this to somebody? What? No! <laughs> Anton, we finally have something going here. It's getting juicy. Guess we have something real. We have actual people have actually died. This is actually crazy. Grace, you did it. Just take the win. Let's turn this off and actually report it. No, say actually more ass. What? Okay, um... I think that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> I was just waiting for that to end. I don't know how much you guys wanted to listen to that, I don't know. I don't, you might have to skip to the end, but... I want to do my little... Review of the game. Um, I'm gonna say, I quite like the game. I, I honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I still prefer Until Dawn. That's just because it that game I love and it's just very close. I think I love the characters more in that than I did this. 
Um, I'm still so bummed out that I didn't save Caitlyn. I feel like I just needed to shoot Caleb, but again, he wouldn't have survived if we shot him. So, I don't know if there was a way of maybe just going with Ryan, possibly, I don't know. Um, I don't know if there's a way to survive, make them all survive, I don't know. Um, if you like me to do a rerun of this one day, um, I probably don't want to do it right now, because uh, it is a quite longish game. So if you want me to do a rerun and see how many more, can, I, now that I know how we've done this, um, we can try and save more people, um, especially like Caitlin, Abby, all them ones, they're the main ones I want to save. So let me know down in the comments. Um, but overall, I think this is a good game. I think it's a good, good game. You can chill out, you can relax playing it. There is some tense moments. Back, Abby's kill is the golden chainsaw. It is the golden tier of the deaths in this in this game. That was brutal, and um, I feel like we could have saved Nick. But I, I would have thought when the power came off, um, it had died because the gates opened, and I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. But um, either way. I'm really happy with the way this game's come out. I really, ha I'm happy that we made majority of the people survive. We actually did all right. Um, let me know if you played this game and how you thought about it. Let me know down below as well. Let me know any games you'd like me to look at. And also, overall, I think this is a good game. I like the characters. I like. I feel like the ending had a little bit of a bit of a flat ending, a little bit. But it was, I don't know, it had um, a lot of layers, there was a lot of characters at the end, they had, they had to sort of land everyone's ending, I mean like Jacob, you didn't really know what he, was going on with him, he sort of went missing, same with Emma in a way, she was sort of part of it, the main it was more of that main lot, like Dylan, Ryan, Caitlin, and you know, them guys who were the main lot who you followed, and they were the guys who you more knew. I'm so happy Ryan and Dylan survived. I think they're two of the most favourite characters I've played as. So, I don't know. I hope we do more of these games. I know there's more like these games out until dawn. If you'd like to do more of them, let me know. Is there um, one called ha House of Ashes, what I really like the look of? If you'd like me to look at them get kind of games, put, it that, put that like button on there so I know exactly that you want me to go and try some more of them games. I can't say what exactly what's next. I think probably what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be redoing the Spider-Man series um, and also the Miles Morales. Just simply because um, Spider-Man 2 is coming out sometime this year or next year. So I really want to get them games remastered, sort of like re-recorded, give you a bit of a, an up-to-date series. Uh, so it's up to standard, I would say. So I can do with the Alien Isolation series, what I thought came out so much better than the first time I did that. Um, any other games what's on my channel, what you'd like me to redo? Um, probably one more of my older series, sort of like when I did The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part 2. Um, but either way, uh, let me know what you thought about the series. I'd like your support and I'd like your comments. But without further ado, guys, I'm going to end this series here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next series. And I'll see you next time. I'm the Hawkeye Punisher, and I am out. Take it easy, guys.